Welcome to History Adventuring. This is episode number 415. I'm Brad Hall, and today we're time traveling to Christmas Day in Canoga Park, California, in 1986. I like Christmas, and lately I've been feeling nostalgic and trying to remember my Christmas's past. Today I'd like you to walk with me on Christmas Day in Canoga Park, California, which is a suburb of Los Angeles, in 1986. I found myself all alone on Christmas once again since I'd been trying to get my career in graphic design going. I was 28 years old and I could feel 30 bearing down on me and I didn't want to be still stuck in a dead-end job in a small town. So I just up and left and got an apartment in Los Angeles, seeing if I could make it in the big city. And while Canoga Park isn't as crowded as downtown Los Angeles, it was very crowded to me. The traffic never seemed to end. There was always noise and commotion, and it gave me what I call the L.A. heebie-jeebies. But Christmas morning was different. I had no place to go, so I just took a walk, and it was amazingly quiet. I still remember it as something of a Christmas miracle. Of course, this was back in the 80s, so things have probably changed a lot since then. But a lot of the places were closed. I walked south on Mason from Satakoy to Sherman Way and headed west. I wasn't going anywhere. I was just walking. I walked to downtown Canoga Park at Owen's mouth, and for the first time I saw something that looked like it used to be a small town. <laughs> like I say, most businesses were closed, so traffic was very light. I don't remember if I even stopped in anywhere, like to get a coffee. Maybe I did, but I probably got a can of Coke, which is what I did in those days. Of course, the weather was wonderful, which it is in December in Los Angeles, and all year, in fact. This photo of me here was taken in December not far from my apartment complex in Canoga Park. But on Christmas Day, I didn't drive the mighty Mustang. I walked. I still remember the feeling of peace and quiet. Merry Christmas, and thank you for walking with me. This has been History Adventuring. I'll talk to you later.